Hi guys, this is Andrew with rockclass101.com. Today we're going to learn the Hanukkah classic, I Have a Little Dreidel. And I've broken this tune down into two melodies. There's an A melody and a B melody. We're going to learn the entire arrangement here in this video, so it'll be completely free for you guys. If you want to get the assets that go along with this lesson, if you want to get the uh, PDF tabs that you can print out, and you also want to get access to the on-screen tab viewer, which will literally play this song back, and you can loop bars and you can slow it down, it's a great way to practice and a great way to learn this song. You can get that at rockclass101.com. So let's go ahead and get started. The uh, first part we're going to start with is, of course, the A melody. And I'll go ahead and play just the first part of it, and then we'll break it down, okay? So here's the first part. Okay? So basically what happens in this is that we're going to be starting out of a G chord, right? So just think of that basic G chord shape that we all know. And the first one is actually, I put it as a pickup note, so it's going to be just playing the third string, right? So you make that G, play the third string by itself, and you hold that out, and that'll be a half note. So that's that first word, right? I. Okay? The next part, we're going to be strumming four to two, and then we're going to pick string two, right? So it'll sound like this. One more time. So again, I'm hitting string three, and then I'm strumming four to two, and picking string two. Next, we go to a D7, and the way we're gonna finger this is gonna be our first finger is on the second fret of string four, and then our middle finger is on the second fret of string two, and the other two strings will be open. So I'm gonna strum all four for this one and then pick string one. So now, guys, I have... Okay, one more time. Okay. So the next one is gonna be that full shape of G, and then we're gonna hit string two. Okay, so if I tie that for together for the first part, we have... One more time, slower. And the last note you can see is the open fourth string. And that will buy us time to move into our third bar. And our third bar is probably the hardest bar in the actual song. So we're going to break that down. And the reason why it's hard is because it's got a couple bar chords that are probably new to you. Okay, so again, now we have the pickup measure plus the first two bars. So bar three is going to start with a B minor seven flat five, and it's basically taking your ring finger and laying it flat on the fifth fret, strings three, two, and one. And after you strum from three down, you're going to hit string one by itself. So I use the ring finger for this one, and again, we're ignoring string four. So strum three down, and then hit string one. And then our next one is going to be an E7 with a sharp five. And to make this chord, we're going to take our first finger, bar the second fret, again, strings three down. And we're going to take the ring finger, put it on the fourth fret of string two, and our middle finger on the third fret of string one. And again, I'm going to strum three down. Okay? After that, I can lift up and play the first string with the first finger barred. So you see, I lift the middle finger up, and it's the second fret of string one. Okay? So I had ring finger on the fifth fret, play string one again after the strum. Then I go to the next chord shape, so the E7 sharp five. Index is flat on the second fret, three down. Ring is on the fourth uh, fret of string two, and middle finger is on the third fret of string one. And then I lift the middle finger up, and I play the second fret of string one. So this is the hardest bar in the song, and. 
basically what you can do to practice is you can play just those two chords so you can kind of loop them in a in a series think of it like going on bar on beat one two three four one two three four so you hit the second chord on beat three so if you can do that nice and clean then you can add the melody notes after it and it'll be so much easier because you'll have that muscle memory down uh, for how to form these shapes because they're probably new for you so let's do this guys let's take um, the first three bars now and play what we've learned so far okay so after that bar four will go to just a basic A minor and I'm using the middle finger just like normal and then I'm going to hit the second string open okay so if I put that together I have okay after that the next one starts again on that A minor then we're going to an E7 which might be a new shape for you as well so our second finger is going to go on the second fret of string three and our ring finger goes on the second fret of string one and our index finger goes on the first fret of string four so now you have just one open which is the second string right so it's kind of like you can think of it's the same kind of shape right we just got to add our index finger and drop it down one string right so it's the same shape as that d7 just move down plus one finger at it. So this gives us our E7 now. Okay? So this bar um, will sound like this. So we have from A minor, open first to E7, playing first again. Okay? After that, we're going to move up a half step. So we move up a half step, but we're going to lift our second finger up before we do that. So go ahead and just keep that same shape that you just did for E7. Lift your second finger up and then move up a half step. Right? And we have a variation on an A minor. So you can see it's that basic A minor. We're just adding our ring finger to the third fret of string one. Okay? So again, it's an easy change from E7. Lift the middle up move up a half step and then lift your ring up and we're going to hit the open twice but the first open lasts longer okay so let's recap what we have um, all the way to there so we can put it in the context So the last bar that we're going to play is going to be D to G. And it's like a walk down, right? So if we think of the basic D that we all know, it leaves the first string open. We're going to put a variation on this. We're going to bar all four strings on the second fret and put your pinky on the fifth fret of string one. So I'm going to strum four down. Lift my pinky up, put my middle finger on the third fret of string one. Lift that up, pluck strings one and two, which are barred, which is that second fret barred. And the final note is my pinky on the fifth fret of string two. Okay, let's play that one more time. All right, so the last one that it goes to is just a G. And I can actually just lay my first finger flat on that, so I'm barring from three down because the last note for the A melody is just gonna be a pickup of string one, right? So if I go from D, I have, and you can see I'm just barring that to catch that last note. So that's the entire A melody, guys. Let's put it together one time through and you can hear what it sounds like. Now, throughout this uh, explanation too, I've been adding a couple hits and in the performance I hit do a couple hits.
So if you guys want to add a little bit of percussion, you can copy that, right? So it's kind of like every time you have a note that lasts a bit longer, you can add it. Right, so when you have those notes or those chords that last a bit longer, you can add a little slap, just give it a little percussive feel to it. All right, so that's the whole first section or the A melody. Let's take a look at how the B melody goes. All right, so I'm gonna play the B melody one time through so we can hear how this one sounds, and then again, we'll break it down bar by bar. Okay, so that's the basic gist of the B melody. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going up higher for that first chord, and that first chord is just a G, and I labeled it on the sheet music as a G1. So just think of it as a different voicing of a G or a higher vo uh, voicing for a G chord. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking my second finger, put it on seventh fret of string three, my ring finger is underneath that, that's seventh fret of string two, and then my first finger is on the fifth fret of string one, and I can actually strum from four down because our fourth string is a G. So that's just our root. So I'm gonna strum all four and then play off of the second string after. So strum two, strum two, strum two. Okay? So again I have. And then I'm gonna hit string two again, followed by one more strum, and then string one. Okay, if I call it out, I have strum two, strum two, strum two, two, strum one. And then we're gonna walk down to a G sus four and to a regular G. So think of your basic G, you can make that G shape. Add your pinky to the uh, third fret of string one. Lift the pinky up and then go to the basic G and play string one by itself. Okay, so again, now we have this, guys, for the B melody. All right, and that concludes everything on page one, guys. So premium members, now we're going to be looking at page two. So the second part will go into our D7, right? It's the same shape and the same fingers that we used in the first bar. Right, so check out how that goes. Okay, after that we have a pickup of the first string open, and then we're gonna bounce off of adding our ring finger to the third fret of string one, and then playing the open first after. So you can see how that goes down and lifts up. Okay, so it's kind of the same thing as we did with that G1. So it's going to be down for the strum, lift up for the open, down for the strum, lift up for the open, down for the strum, and then open again. So you have strum, O, oh, strum, O, oh, strum, O, oh, O, oh, followed by one extra open. Okay, so now if we put that together, guys, we have from G1. And then instead of playing the same thing we did before for that D, which you could play if you wanted to, but I did it as um, a walking down interval lick, just to give it a little variation. And it sounded really cool too. So basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna slide in with my second finger and first finger. It's on strings three and one. So I'm gonna slide the fourth fret of string three with my middle finger, the third fret of string one with my index, and I slide up a whole step, and that goes six and five, going back to where I just was, four and three, then down a whole step, but I'm gonna use my ring finger to play the second fret of string one, and then open three and one into that G without the first string. So again, I have Slide to four and three, two and two, 
opens to the G without the first, right? And when you go to repeat, you're going to play the third string by itself and then back to the A melody and throughout everything. Now, when you repeat the whole song, you do the A melody again, then the B melody again, and then you're going to do the second ending when you get past all this stuff. So all that's the same, and same with this, right, those first two hits, but this t last time you're going to go 2 to 5 is a hammer on, so it's the 2nd fret and 5th fret string one, and then you're going to go up higher for a G chord, and this will be labeled as G2 on the tab. It's basically taking your first finger laying flat on 7, adding your pinky to 10 on string 1, 4th string is open, and then we're just going to tap the 12th fret, which will be a little harmonic. Right? And every time I tap, it's going to be the second bar. So you don't tap the 12th fret on the first bar, you tap it on the second bar, second middle fret. Right? It's a quick little hit, and it gives you a nice little harmonic sound. So your walk down will be like that. So that's the way you can end the tune. And you guys can just repeat these two sections over and over and over again as much as you want. You can sing along with the melody. Um, you know, I just kept it short and sweet because that's what the tune is. It just repeats throughout. So I hope you guys enjoyed this arrangement of I Have a Little Dreidel. It's a lot of fun to play and it should bring a lot of joy for the holidays for you guys. So if you guys want to get the assets for this lesson, remember you can get the complete tabs and the on-screen tab viewer at rockclass101.com. Hope to see you guys in class. Thanks!